This is a steam engine and it needs some repair because the whistle is broken off. I needed a stronger, stronger um, solder iron and I'm going to plug it because I want to show you how it runs. So this should not recommend. Fill it up with some water. I just want to share with you my opinion and for that I want to go back to an invention that really, really was a major change in the entire human history and of which this young man is the inventor, James Watt. And James Watt was accused of hindering the progress of technology with his patents. And the cool thing is that I found some very interesting graphs of the development of the number of steam engines uh, according to the principles of what, but also according to the principles of Newcomen, which was an older, less efficient version of a steam engine. And also Newcomen had some patents. And what would you expect if patents really are not good for us? Then you would expect that the moment the patents lapse, that you see a massive spike in the number of engines being produced, being deployed, being sold. And if you look at these graphs, first you see the graphs of various counties in England where the number of new common engines are shown and you see no spike whatsoever. This invention was patented around 1711 and lapsed around 1731. No spike whatsoever in the number of steam engines according to Newcomb. And if you look at the, the number of steam engines that are sold uh, according to the principles of what, you see the very same thing. No additional spike of more steam engines. So if there's no spike, then there is no reason that there suddenly lots of people are going to buy or manufacture the steam engines when the patents are lapsed. And that's good to realize. So this indicates that indeed patents do not hinder the progress of technology at all.